everyone, it's Arlene. I wanted to share a few things with you, so here I am. Um, I mentioned in a video last week that I was going to show you the mini album that Steph gave to me, and she's Sweet Crafty Chick on YouTube. Um, I was going to show it to you once I had pictures put in it. So I'm going to go ahead and share it with you now. I went ahead and put some wedding pictures in it. And these aren't my original wedding pictures, of course. Uh, they're pictures that I scanned and made a little bit smaller so they would fit into the mini album. So just a couple things. Um, I pretty much kept the box the way it was. Um, the only difference is I added some black aluminum flowers on the cover and then the bling and the roses uh, Steph had put on there. And then this glass frame, I actually glossy accented it. If you saw my last video, it accidentally fell through because um, it had a backing on here so you could put a photo. And I decided that I like the shadow box um, kind of feel where you could see the mini album inside. And the mini album is so pretty, so I wanted to be able to see it through the glass. So instead of putting a picture, it's a shadow box window. Okay, so here's the mini album, and I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I did um, add several elements to it, but I really didn't have to do much because Steph did such an awesome job on this mini album. It's so pretty. Um, so on the cover, it's, it's exactly the way that she gave it to me. The only difference is, is I added this Recollections uh, butterfly and this Making Memories metal embellishment that says love. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. It used to be silver, and then I put some black alcohol ink on it. I added this uh, Tim Holtz swivel clasp and then I have this Seven Gypsies charm on here. It's like a pink flower. And then I have this Making Memories charm on here that says Adore. And then I added a Tim Holtz key and it says Life. Okay. And, um, and again the paper collection is Graphic 45's Le Romantique. Um, so I pretty much kept it again the same. I just added a lot of elements to it. So Steph had given me um, a place to insert uh, a tag or some sentiments. This is a little pocket. I added this label here with my Dymo label maker and this is the date I got married. And then I added some Prima Bling on here. And then I took this shipping tag and you can get this tag at, at Staples. And I adhered uh, the paper collection. I have uh, probably like three stacks of Le Romantique because I love that paper collection. So I took some of my own paper and added to it. So I matted some of the paper on there and these are the angels. And then this is a Making Memories uh, coin sentiment and it says forever together, together forever. Prima bling and then it tucks in like this. The tag tucks in like this. Okay, if I can get it out. Okay, and then I'm just going to add some sentiments, uh, some journaling in here. And then I cut out, um, sorry guys, it's like blurry, Le Romantique right there. And I just added a little flower to cover the, the back of the, the coin. And this was a sticky, um, the coin was sticky on the back, so I just added some baby powder to make it non-sticky so it doesn't stick on my picture. So the picture it just goes like that. And then, so this is the pocket, and then I just put... A picture of my husband and I, and this was taken before um, the actual ceremony. Um, we took some pictures. Bef no, actually not before. After the ceremony. Sorry about that. It was right after the ceremony, before the reception. He couldn't see me before the wedding. <laughs> and so um, what I did is I just um, printed them out, and I think by 2 by 3 is the size. And then I used my Tim Holtz sanding block to edge it. So you can see that I distressed the edges. And that just inserts back like that. And then on this side, um, I added this little tag so I can add some journaling, and I haven't written anything on here yet. And then this is a little um, Making Memories charm on here. It's a top note charm. It says Cherish Memories. This is the church that we got married in. I first stepped foot into this church, I believe, when I was 17. I was still in high school, and I told myself that I would get married at that church. And I did, and it's just the most gorgeous church I've ever been in. Um, so anyways, that's the church, and then, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's me, and that's after my, my dad had given my hand over to my husband, and we're walking up to the priest to get married. And then um, Steph did all this, so I didn't change anything. This is one of those Making Memories um, wedding charms, and I got this from Olga uh, in Iraq. So thank you, Olga. Um, so I just, it used to be silver, and then I uh, distressed it with black alcohol ink. 
and then the Prima Bling was there. Steph put that in there. So then this just tucks in like that. And then on this side, I decided to use some of those um, layered flowers that I got from Boonma from IamRoses.com. She's so sweet. She sent me a whole bunch of goodies and she sent me these um, these layered flowers and I love them. And they're dimensional but not so dimensional that it would puff up the page so that I wouldn't be able to close the box. So, um, and then Steph had put this here already. It says A and J for Arlene and J. And then um, she had the Prima Bling and then this on here. I just added the photo and that's me and my husband um, after the ceremony on the church altar. And then this is my wedding party. Now if you guys can see that, but that's Bona right there. She was um, one of my bridesmaids. So um, so I added this uh, with dimensionals and this is part of the paper collection. And then the moments, uh, the moments to live for. Um, that's a making memories metal embellishment that I added. And then Steph did a really good job with the crackle accents on there. So I didn't want to cover that. If you guys can see that rose with the crackle accents. And then on this side, um, Steph had already done that. I just took the tag here, it says Celebration of Love, and then I put some journaling in the back there. And this is um, a picture of me and my husband at um, the garden um, where we got married. And that was after the ceremony. And then over here, um, I added a picture of me um, in my wedding dress, and then I added some lace, and then some of the lace I got from Rika. I love this, right, this lace. And then another one of the flowers from Boonma from IamRoses.com. And then I cut out a butterfly from the paper collection, and I actually added this bling and this little cutout. And then on this side, um, all of this is stuff. She added all of that. The only thing that I added was the photo and the tag for some journaling. And I did journal in the back already. So that's my husband and I um, during our first dance at our wedding. So I, of course, got the man and the lady dancing to stick it in there. And then over here, this is um, during the toast. And, um, and of course, I cut out a little um, die cut of the man and the woman kissing. And then Prima Bling. And then um, this is all stuff right here. So thank you so much, Steph, again. That's my mini album. Um, I had so much fun putting this together, and this is going um, on our coffee table because I definitely want people to look at it when they come over because the mini album is just so pretty, and I love it. So thanks again, Steph. I really appreciate that. And then just a couple of other things, guys, and my battery's flashing at me, so hopefully it lasts through this video. Um, I got the Toxic and Sweet, and I already opened it up, and I started cutting it, but the Toxic a uh, sweet and toxic, I'm sorry, stamp set by the Greening Farm. And this is what it looks like. Here's the little girl. And then here's the little boy. So cute. He has like wings. And so I already started playing with it. And here's my little guy. So much fun. I love it. And the paper that I used here in the background is the um, graphics, Graphic 45 um, Halloween in Wonderland. And then this is from the Prima Rock On Boy collection. This used to be a silver charm, and then I just alcohol inked it black, and this is Seven Gypsies gaffer tape. And they use some Making Memories rub-on to put that, my son's name, Logan. I was just playing around. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I just really wanted to color up this guy. And I put some, I don't know if you can see that, but I put some diamond dust on his wings. And um, my Copic order came in today. Really excited about that. So I got another 24 colors. Here they are. Really excited, and I ordered two more shelves from Studio 3 Solutions um, for my Copic markers because I'm running out of space. And I wanted to give you guys a heads up on this place. I ordered some of the um, lightweight stamp storage panels, and I've shown you guys how I store my stamps, my clay mount stamps on these panels and binders. And then I got five sheets of the 8.5 by 11 um, easy stamp easy mount, I'm sorry, um, foam. And this is the quarter inch, not the 16th inch, because I like the quarter, the qu not quarter inch. Is it the eighth of an inch? Sorry, guys. Um, not the, the 16th, because it's a lot thicker. Um, but the place that I purchased it, and I don't know if you guys can see that, um, the eBay seller's name is Culverve, C-U-L-V-E-R-V, -E on eBay. And it's such a an awesome deal, you guys. You get five eight and a half by eleven eighth of an inch foams for eighteen seventy five. It's such a great deal, and I think the shipping was like four dollars, whatever it costs to send this um, 
priority mail, things like $4.90. So go check them out. Um, really, really great deal on eBay. Um, if you're into um, un purchasing unmounted stamps like me um, and mounting them yourself, this is a great deal. And then I got a package today from um, Lorna. Hey, Lorna. Um, actually, I received it the other day, but just got to open it this morning, and I was really excited. She said she was going to send me some stuff. So this is the card that she had made me. So cute. She said she used her Cricut to make this. So thank you, Lorna. It's very beautiful. I love it. And she also made me this gorgeous vintage tag. I just love it. Look at her flowers. They're just gorgeous. And then I love how she used, I think she used Perfect Pearls on the background, if you guys can see that. So pretty. And then she made me this custom um, wall art, and it says Butterfly Kisses. I don't know if you guys can see that, but on the top part there it says Butterfly and then kisses. So I'm really excited about that. Um, can't wait to put that on my wall. So thank you, Lauren. I love this. Thank you so much. One thing I wanted to show you guys that's just, oh my gosh, just out of this world. Look at this. Um, she said she's into quilling, and I think this is, she may have used her quilling tool to make these, but these are handmade paper flowers, and they are just so amazing, you guys. I love it. And look at, she sent me two. Aren't those gorgeous? You guys have to check out her channel. Um, she actually shows um, some flowers, and let me show you those flowers. Um, she's selling these, I think, on her blog or on her website. But these are just so—they're glue-free, so they don't have any glue at all, and they're all—they're all hand-sewn. Hand but they're just so cute and delicate. Look at this black one; I love it. She sent me like a whole a ton of colors, guys. Look. So um, check her out. She's Lorna67 on YouTube. So thank you, Lorna. I love those. And then she sent me a ton of fiber. Thank you, Lorna. And then, oh, you guys have to see this. She makes jewelry. Um, and she made me these two gorgeous um, beaded bracelets. And they're just so, look at the detail of that, you guys. It's just amazing. Thank you so, so much, Lorna. These are so beautiful. I love it. I love how she, the design, it's just amazing. She intertwined the beads around the pearls. It's just, I love it. Thank you so much. And I'm really excited about this because I do um, have a badge. She made me a lanyard for my badge um, for work. It's, it's, right now, it's one of those, um, I have it on a clip where I just basically wear it on my, um, my dress pants. Um, but she made me this gorgeous lanyard, you guys. Check it out. I, I'm so excited. I can't wait to I'm, to use this. Isn't that amazing? So here's the, the lanyard part where I put my badge. But look at the detail of this. It is just gorgeous. And then it goes around your neck. And then here's the clasp here. But I just love it. Thank you so much, Lorna. So anyways, guys, that's my video, and have a great week, everybody. Bye.